how the sound is intense. But it just penetrates your ears. Cicadas in their thousands. Now, last night I was filming, um, filming these huge cumulus clouds down in the south. And while I was doing so, it was just about dusk. The sun was about to set, and the next thing there was just, oh, listen to this noise. Uh, next there was this stampede of giraffe and an impala running and these two wild dogs came screaming through. So I stopped filming the cows and off I went after the dogs. And I caught up with them and then another dog joined them. And then they weren't chasing anymore and they were seem to be, yo, the sound is beyond intense. So, and then, uh, yeah, I, I lost them going north into some really thick bush. And I was with the hyenas last night at the den and they were just coming and going and do their thing. But now I'm here in the Mopani, as you can see, there's a whole new flush of Mopani. And these cicadas are going absolutely crazy. The sound is intense, you know, they, they, they say it's one of the loudest or the loudest animal in the world. So these are all males calling females. And the way they call is they, they have a organ called the tim timber organ, which is like little muscles on, I think on sort of ribs, and they vibrate these muscles and it creates this clicking sound and they do that fast and you get this intense sound. Now the males have a hollow body so it makes even more noise because of the, the hollowness. And uh, they all out here feeding on sap from these mopani trees. They get into the, the, the xylem flow of the tree and suck out the sap and then they squirt it out every now and then and that squirt they call it honey dew. I haven't tested it to see if it does taste like honey or not, but uh, <laughs> that's the honey dew. Now, but these guys, you know, they spend most of their lives underground in their nymph stage. And even there underground, they, they're sucking moisture and nutrients out of the plant's root systems. And they're all flying around here. They just, it's intense. So this intense sound is to keep, you know, no bird is going to want to come and hunt in here. It'll drive you mad. It's like it bores into your brain and you, you will go mad if you stay in here for long. So I'm not going to stay here too long. But even on these, you know, on these really hot days, these guys have a cooling system. They it's like humans, you know, we sweat to keep cool. So these guys, they take that moisture that they're sucking in and they can put it through some sort of vein system in their thoraxes. And there it, it goes out in little pores and evaporates and keeps them cool. So they're quite fascinating little guys. And the cicadas have a, a special like hearing aid so they can pick up these sounds and pick up the different males and whatever. So what the males do with theirs is because they're making so much noise right there next to them, they just switch theirs off when they're calling. Now if I was all the girls, I'd probably switch mine off all the time because this sound is intense. 